Hey guys, Sublord here, back again with another edition of What's in the Box. What's in the freaking box? Well, I'll tell you what's in the freaking box. Be patient, jeez. Because today, we got a package from none other than my good buddy, Evil Villain. Click the link in the description below and give him a follow over on Instagram. Let him know Overlord sent you. But as always, be nice, or I will find you, and you will be destroyed. That said... As I suspected in my last monthly channel update video that I did and will do until the end of time, because let's face it, they're a waste of both my time and yours, I'm pretty sure I called it that I was going to be doing another What's in the Box before I went on a brief hiatus, maybe a week or two, uh, that, and I'm still waiting for ship and notices. Either way, I suspected I would get a package from Evil Villain relatively soon, and lo and behold, it came the day after... That last monthly channel update video was posted, so yay me for being partially psychic. That said, not gonna lie, this box from Evil Villain at least is probably gonna be the one that keeps on giving. Because I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep everything that I got in this box. Most because of space, or lack thereof, and why do I need this, and some of the stuff I straight up already have, or have had before, and got rid of once before already. It's the circle of toy life, man. It is what it is. And I'm totally okay with that, because I at least get to check out stuff I wouldn't have checked out in the first place, and that's A-OK -okay in my opinion. That said, as far as the stuff I already have, uh, we got a 2000X Beast Man with no armor. If it was Moss Man, I'd tell you to piss off and leave me alone to my awesome Moss Man 2000X figure, but it's just Beast Man. I definitely do not need one of those. I got one on the shelf. That I got minty fresh, actually, so that will be going into the trade fodder pile. And then, we also got the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Build-A-Figure with the 80th Anniversary Juggernaut Head, which is a little weird. As well as the Battle Damaged Helmet. Not quite sure what's up with that, but uh, hey, I've kit bash figures before too, and they haven't always matched up that well, so... It is what it is. That said, I may actually try and find the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut's head on eBay for a decent price if I can. Uh, just to complete that, make it a little bit more of a worthy trade fodder piece. And then last but not least, we have the Disney Toy Box Venom, who's kind of based off the uh, Disney Infinity figure. Which I actually don't have that uh, Disney Infinity figure, but what I do have is the Disney Toy Box Venom. I actually reviewed it on the channel in i want to say 2020 it's a cool figure it's not perfect but it's pretty cool so that will be going i'll probably send that to t-biz it's cool looking venom very anime style and the reason i'm not showing that stuff is because i already got it tucked away uh, along with some other things that we will mention in a moment here but speaking of 2000x motu we got the closest thing the zora we ever got in that line was wing flapping action as well as talons that open and close, which is pretty cool. Although I don't remember this latching onto anything, so kind of pointless, but kind of not, kind of cool and awesome. So I'm definitely going to keep this for my 2000X collection. I can't remember if I sent my old one to T-Biz and he sold it on eBay like a num skull or not. Claims to be a Motu fan, sells all the cool stuff on eBay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, jeez. But uh, either way, we do have some effect pieces. Which I guess are from Power Rangers Lightning Collection, judging by some of the Putty Patrol effects in here. So that's what I'm guessing those are from. Where this stuff is from, make sure none of that stuff fell out. Because the bag was unzipped. What the heck? And we got some accessories here. To some of the stuff sitting in front of you, but some of it's just random. Funny enough, there's actually like an axe blade to a Mythic Legions figure in here that I traded in 2021. So that's kind of funny. I wish I still had that figure just so I could trade the whole thing instead of just most of it. I don't think I ever got like an axe head. I think I got the sword, but I didn't get the axe head. So I guess I will put that in my uh, Mythic Legions uh, parts that are, I can use for trade swag as well. Because I do do some uh, doo-doo. 
Uh, I do do some trades in the Mythic Legions Cabal. Very few, because I can't afford to do that, really. That said, we got a lot of 5.5 love going on here. So we're just gonna, we're gonna whip through these. We got Zorn. That's He-Man, stupid. We got Zorn. <laughs> Sorry, I am exhausted. Uh, <laughs> don't know why, just am. And uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I have this guy's sword or not. He might have sent it in another box, but I have no idea. I might need to check and see if I have the sword or if this is just how this guy was. Because I like this show. I like Jason today because I thought this is a cool character. I was surprised Super 7 never made an ultimate of this dude, but this is definitely a piece I am happy to have finally. Then we got the Filmation He-Man. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or not. I like these, but the Skeletor had a stinky poo poo thing going on with him. So, um, I, I'm going to debate on that. But uh, the He-Man's cool, I guess. I think the head sculpt's okay. It's a little derpy, but that's how Filmation was. So I guess we'll just get that out of the way. The Skeletor here. Um, his belt is poop. It's too short. And these little tab thingies just shear it off when I tried to use my nail to push it in there. So it's just, eh, I don't know. If they make origins of this, then I'm not going to keep this. But if not, I don't know. I might hold on to it for now just because that ain't the biggest deal. Really ain't. I could maybe even find a replacement belt if I looked hard enough. But uh, he's got the three little tassel thingies on the front. So a regular Origin Skeletor belt. Well, they do fit on here. I did test it. Uh, that ain't going to work because of the finish and whatnot. So, yeah, it is what it is. I like the sculpt on the skull, though. That's pretty rad. Maybe my buddy Altendo will want that at some point. I don't know. It's a thought. Then we got She-Ra. It looks cool. She's a bitch to stand, though. Kind of wants to fall down. And I never cared for like the females in the old Motu line. I thought their arms were so close to their body and they look kind of funny. She does have a cloth cape though, so that's cool. A little short maybe, considering how long her hair is, but still cool. And then we got Slythe, who's going down, down to Goblin Town. Now, this is from the Funko Savage World series. If I could get some of the the Thundercats in this line that I don't have for these uh, Filmation Motu guys, I would maybe consider doing that. Zorn, no, he stays. I would maybe consider trading these because I have Origins. I'm kind of okay with that. My vintage stuff. I don't need to get every 5.5 Motu thing out there, you know. I don't know. I like those, but I'm like, yeah, I don't know. But Slyth here is cool. He's a keeper. I like him. I like Thundercats. I like Rankin Bass. I'm a sucker. But, yeah, I just... He looks really cool. And I'm happy to have him. I'm happy he didn't break like Panthro. Yeah, I got a bone to pick with my mail carrier. My Panthro on these is broken. It's a lot, guy. What the heck? And thanks a lot, me, for screwing up his other leg. Because that broke off when I tried to move it. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, that said, this lion, though, I did pop his legs off. But... They didn't break off. They seem to be on there pretty good though now. So that's kind of nice. But funny thing though, he sent me the sword to Lion-O here. But I almost think it was the Super 7 Ultimate Lion-O sword. Because they did make more than one. And he's not the type of guy to keep like a bunch of accessories around. Speaking of which... Uh, he had a Wonder Woman in these Funko Savage World figures for me, and I did not see that in here, which is surprising, because this was like the Funko Motu 5.5 box, if anything. All the packages he sent me, this one had the most 5.5 stuff in it, because he sent me the Super 7, the Skeletor, and the two skeleton, the skeleton bat, and the werewolf there. Then he sent me the Hordak. And these, he, I'm guessing he just found these recently while he was digging through stuff. But um, that said, they do got the spring-loaded waist. So I don't know. I like those Filmation figures, but I'm like, I don't know. 
That said, speaking of a line I had no interest in getting, but I kind of wish I had some now, was these Jazzwares Fortnite guys. Because even though they have these stupid toe joints and finger joints and they can't hold their weapons for crap, I actually really like these. I think you can almost make Mr. Knight out of this guy if you really tried. This is Wild Card. And then this is... I don't know. Freaking... Noob Cybot from the future? I have no idea. He's got this big pickaxe here. Fortnite's just, I swear, a lot of people who play that game are probably people I'd never associate with. You know, kids or stupid kids or even stupider kids, you know. Then we have uh, the funniest thing ever. If we take the Fortnite BS off here. So I'm like over, I'm over this line. I used to buy the McFarlane ones, but now I don't know. Like, if I don't keep the other two and just keep this one, I probably wouldn't mind. Because it looks like friggin' Ralphie from A Christmas Story in the bunny sweater. Like, or the bunny pajamas, which is hilarious. I just wish I could get the Fortnite junk off this figure and just have a dude in a bunny suit. Because you can unpeg this piece on the back, but you can't pop it off. I don't know if it's pegged in or glued. I'm guessing it's glued, but why would they give you the option to unpeg it if you can't just slip it off, you know? I don't know. I don't know if this is glued up here or what. I'm tempted to heat it and find out. Because I would not mind just having Ralphie in his sweater, dude. That said, he does have that pouch on his leg still, so that's a problem, but... I could probably live with that, because it's pretty close. I mean, look at this guy. Oh, it's dumb. I used to look like this kid when I was a kid. When I was his age, Ralphie's age, I kind of look like Ralphie. Ralphie, is it Van Pickett? Or whatever. Ralphie Pickett? From A Christmas Story? I need to watch the sequel on HBO Max. But uh, it's not Christmas time, so that seemed kind of weird. But literally, this is freaking Ralphie in the bunny suit. It's awesome. And then we have the two figures I was looking forward to the most in the box. Jackalman and Mumra from the Mattel Thundercats Classics. And granted, while Jackalman's ab crunch is a little loose, not terrible. I've had Motu Classics with looser ab crunches than that. And he's got the weird calf situation. I'm guessing, is this the part that's backwards? The, the actual armor on the calves here? Because that's not that big a deal. It doesn't look backwards to me. It looks fine. I don't really notice. Which is weird because I usually do. Um, but yeah, I, would, I wouldn't advise trying to heat that up and pop the feet and stuff. I don't think that's going to end well for you. Especially with how tight these are. Like that's pretty tight on there. So is that. So that's just going to get left the heck alone. If I really feel courageous I'll get the super 7 one and then I'll try that but I got this one because I couldn't afford the super 7 one and he had the neck with the tan the brighter color fur on the front because uh, that's how he's supposed to be unless it's a vintage toy then he's not supposed to be that way he's supposed to be all like the one color except up to well no I guess he's supposed to be like that both ways huh Either way, I got Jackal Man, got Mumra. Mumra's cool. Got him with the more streamlined robe. Holding his, I don't know, Slayer Show No Mercy whacking stick there. But those are the two figures I really wanted out of the box. They're great. I love these guys. You know, I love uh, me some Thundercats and good old fashioned Rankin Bass. Even if it wasn't the best cartoon ever. Let's actually just make this a Thundercats. Uh, bonanza here so needless to say if i keep anything out of the box it's gonna be these guys i'm keeping zorn zorn's awesome um that show was freaking hilarious i wish they didn't can it well, let's put him over here let's get the big hair lion oh not slide lion oh here 
It's a little tricky to stand. If you're wondering why Panther isn't here, it's because, well, A, he broke, and B, he's with my uh, busted neck of Kratos that my dad also needs to pin. So I'm racking up quite the quite the batch of stuff for him to pin. I actually have a couple old spawn figures I need him to pin too, but this is more or less what I'm going to keep out of the box because I need to not collect everything. And while I like these Filmation He-Man guys, if somebody's willing to offer me the Thundercats I don't have for those in these Savage World figures, especially the Mumra, uh, I'm all for that. Uh, that would be great. But uh, we'll see. I might offer them up to a couple of buddies of mine see what happens. But uh, with that being said, that concludes today's edition of What's in the Box. Uh, once again, much appreciated. Evil Villains the man. Uh, again, link in the description below to his Instagram. But before I sign off, a quick side note. Uh, not related to this package, but another package I also got the same day as this one. Uh, shout out to my buddy John Wilde, who was very nice to hook up a couple of Mego figures I did not have, that I cannot find now. What the heck? We got the Glow in the Dark Frankenstein and the Red Cape Bella Lugosi Dracula. I'll tell you, you can't have that. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, really nice little uh, batch of stuff for your boy today, especially since nobody wants to ship me the stuff I paid for. You know, Animal Warriors and Four Horsemen are just sitting on all my money, not sending me my shit, so that's cool. I'm going to bitch about that until they send it. They don't watch my videos. I don't give a crap. <laughs> nobody watches these. Are you serious? Come on. Get out of here. There's a select few of you who suffer through this madness, and I appreciate that tenfold, but and no toy company gives a shit about me. Seriously. Come on, dude. Come on, Dad. Let's be real. So, with that being said, I've officially burnt all bridges in trying to get review samples. I know. That was dumb. But we do dumb things here sometimes, so you know what? It is what it is. If you're so inclined, please feel free to do all the YouTube rigmarole, as well as hit me up over on Instagram, at Overlord Productions. If you ever want to talk toys, or anything in particular, or ask me how well I am, because I may legally be insane. I don't know, that's up for debate. That's the number one best way to get a hold of yours, truly. Had a bit of a brain fart there, or a flashback to a better day. <laughs> But as always, keep the comment civil, because the world sucks enough as it is, especially when I don't know where I was going with the end of this video. I really don't. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>